Right now on the lineup, fans packed into the link for a second night of WrestleMania. And the WWE isn't done with Philly yet. Plus, all eyes will be on the sky today, uh, hopefully with the proper protection. You mm -hmm. definitely need that. A total eclipse is coming. Plus, grab and don't go. A homeowner caught someone breaking into his truck and didn't let him get away without a fight. Those stories and more on today's edition of The Lineup. It is Monday, April 8th, 2024. The Lineup is brought to you by TD Bank, America's most convenient bank. Hey, everyone, I'm NBC 10's Keith Jones. And I'm NBC 10's Erin Coleman. Let's get you up to speed with what you need to know today, starting with WrestleMania 40. <laughs> the muscle and the mayhem isn't over in South Philly, even after the uh, crowning of WWE's new champ. Yeah, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Main event took down Roman Reigns, who's made the most WrestleMania appearances every year. Look at all the people outside the stadium yesterday afternoon. It's the same kind of crowd you'd expect to see for a football game, right? But instead, they were expecting to see a new WWE champion. Actually, wasn't it almost double the number of a, of a regular attendance there? It's huge. It's huge. Uh, it was 145,000 people. Yeah. Uh, most said they didn't want to see what would happen if Cody Rhodes wasn't crowned the champ. Listen to this. This is Philadelphia. I don't know if you saw how the crowd was last night. All I can say is if Cody doesn't win tonight, there will be a riot in Philadelphia. These fans are going to be brutal. Oh. Would you imagine wrestling riders? No, wrestling yeah. Fan, no, yeah right, no. Wrestling fan riders. No, I, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing that they uh, got what they wanted. Again, all this isn't quite over just yet. Monday Night Raw takes over the Wells Fargo Center tonight. Still a few tickets left. If you want to get close to the ring, it'll cost you at least $300. So there's that. It's interesting that most of them are aligned behind one thing. You know, right. usually when you think about different people have their favorites. But yeah. Look, he, what did, Cody had to finish his story. He finished his story, He too. finished the story. He did it. There hey, you go. Let's talk about another champ here. Dawn Staley yes. led her South Carolina Gamecocks to another national championship. Yeah, to do it, they had to take down uh, the best scorer that college basketball has seen. Iowa's Caitlin Clark got off to a hot start, but they uh, cooled her off big time after the first quarter. Staley coached the game's Cox to a lead at the half, and they never looked back. Final score, 87-75, an NCAA title, and a perfect season. It's amazing. we got to gloss over that, which is crazy. It's, just, it's the I was third. Glued women's basketball perfect season ever. Yeah. And, of course, Dawn Staley executes it in, a, in so, a very competitive age of women's basketball. She is so classy. She mm -hmm. is so humble. She is so awesome. And she's yeah. always talking about Philly, too. Yeah, yeah. And you think of her accomplishments, too. She clearly is invested in these student athletes. Yeah. Because she's a gold medal winner, right? She's played in the WNBA. Yeah. Like, incredibly accomplished. And yet this brought her to tears because of, of what she saw her student athletes achieve. Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. It's humbling for her. And then paying gratitude sure. and, and talking, saying what she did about Caitlin about Clark. About Caitlin Clark, yeah. a classy, classy yep. move. Yep. And this is why we, Philly will always That's right. love her. She'll be one of us yep. forever. Absolutely. Uh, hey, let's talk about the total solar eclipse. It's going to leave part of the nation in darkness right in the middle of the day. Yeah, our area will see a partial eclipse with about 90% of the sun covered just as several schools lit up for the day. So we got our glasses on. Brenna Wake as the you can. there are watch parties happening all throughout our region today some schools are letting out early this is a really rare phenomenon and it's bringing people together so here's what you need to know first and foremost you should not look at the eclipse without special glasses it could seriously damage your eyes you can get those glasses for free at watch parties throughout our region including the franklin institute we've got a list of more parties happening in the tri-state area on nbc10.com chief astronomer at the franklin institute Derek Pitts tells us while Philly won't see a total eclipse, it will get pretty close. That last little 10% is just as bright as the rest of the sun, so we won't have all of the really spectacular phenomena that go with a total solar eclipse. So for us, it will look like a oh, somewhat overcast day, like a partly cloudy day for us. Even with that partial eclipse, you should not look at it without these special glasses. Again, you can get them for free at certain watch parties throughout our area. They need to be very specific kind so that you don't damage your eyes. Reporting from the Parkway, Brenna Wyke, NBC10 News. Yes. And, and look, they, they, they work. They block out absolutely everything. You can't see you, anything. You, we can see like one light yeah, over there. Even the brightest lights in these studios, which are 
blinding at times. Yeah. It's pretty cool. See. Okay. There Where are go. we going next? Right. Uh, a Bucks County family. Okay. You know what they're doing? They're sharing their story of ability, not disability. Next, we're going to introduce you to one baseball player who went after his Little League dreams despite being blind, how he's now working to inspire others. That's coming up when we're back in 30 seconds. I'll go away. Here we go. Here I go again. Introducing the all-new TD Clear credit card with no late fees and no interest, just a simple monthly fee. That's predictability, even when expenses aren't. Four dollars? That's bananas. It's a pair. Oh, man. The all-new TD Clear credit card. That's how credit can be unexpectedly human. Call 1-844-TD-CLEAR for details about credit costs and terms. Oh, this next one is a uh, this is a good one. A little league team from Bucks County is ready to have its story told on the big screen, and you're going to meet one player who hit the ball blind. Yeah, NBC 10's Matt Delucia shares the story of determination that he and his mom want to share with everyone. It is America's pastime and a staple in the Smedley home. Uh, sports were a huge part of my family growing up, and especially growing up in a neighborhood with kids my age. It's what we did after school every day. We'd go play kickball, backyard baseball. Michael, though, did it differently. The more difficult part was getting the team and the guys and the coaches to buy into it because it was something that was different. The difference being that Michael can't see the baseball, but he made it work with a tee and a team. And it taught me a lot about team building, problem solving, um, and coming together to work towards a common goal with people that come from a number of different backgrounds. He hasn't played on this field in Richboro or for the Northampton baseball team in 14 years, but he remembers it well. We were horrible. We could not swing, we could not hit to save our lives. Until they figured it out and won a championship. Pitching came together um, and you know, it literally like something out of a movie. You know, it's a story I've always wanted to tell. And mom has been sitting on that story all these years, waiting for the moment to tell the world. This is the time to put a story of looking at ability, not disability. Look for the advantage and what we think is a disadvantage. This is the time that I believe the world is ready and needs this story to really see things that way. She took on a leap of faith herself went from being a teacher to a filmmaker. It's bigger than Bucks County. She's working through every challenge along the way, hoping to hit a home run with her son's story as an inspiration. Literally anything is possible. Especially when it comes to handling life's curveballs. In Bucks County, Matt Delucia, NBC 10 News. And their movie Curveball still in pre-production. They hope to have it ready to release in the next year. What an inspiration right there. I know, exactly. What a cool, Great cool story, story. Too. Yeah. All right, let's turn now to the biggest night in country music. The Country Music Television Awards were uh, last night. One of the biggest artists in country music is Jelly Roll, of course. Took home the award for CMT Performance of the Year, among others. He's the first artist to win back-to-back -back awards for male video of the year since Blake Shelton won it in 2013 and 2014. Here's some of the other big winners. Lainey Wilson took home Female Video of the Year for Watermelon Moonshine. Dan and Shay were the winners for Duo Group Video of the Year. Scott McCreary took home the award for CMT Digital First Performance of the Year for their song, It Matters to Her. Okay, file this one under I'm Not Flying Ever Again. <laughs> there is more trouble for Boeing after some terrifying moments during a plane's takeoff. Yeah, this is the last thing any passenger wants to see looking out of a plane window there. Part of the protective cover ripped off the engine of a oh. Southwest Airlines plane yesterday morning and struck the wing flap. It returned safely to the airport, the plane did. While the plane is manufactured by Boeing, the engine is not. Oh, my goodness. Experts say this would typically be due to a failure of maintenance personnel properly securing the oh. engine. The FAA is now investigating. How does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. All these it's events. scary, though. It is. It is. All right, now take a look at this video from Washington State. Yeah, homeowner saw something messing around with his truck. Uh, he comes outside to stop him. The burglar tries to take off, but the owner takes him down before he can make it to the getaway car. That's when the driver gets involved and tries to run the guy over. He ends up on the hood instead as the car smashes into his truck. Look at this. Oh, the thieves take off, but the truck owner doesn't appear to be hurt. That's the good news. Taking matters into his own hands, but almost at his own peril. Yeah, that could oh. have been a lot worse. Oof. It really could have. Yeah, yep. I want to do that. Or something like that. Oh, I hope those perpetrators are caught. Yeah.
All right, that's going to do it for today's edition of The Lineup. For Aaron Coleman, I'm Keith Jones. Wear your uh, protective uh, glasses when you're looking, looking at the uh, partial eclipse later on today. Remember, you can catch NBC10 News updates right here on the NBC10 app. Catch us weekdays from 4 to 7 a.m. Listen to our podcast, too. Yes! Yeah, for those of you wearing uh, your glasses all day today, you'll be able to listen to us, which is nice. All right, so have a good that. one. Have a good one. See you guys. <laughs> can you see me? Thank <laughs> you.